Hello, this is a quick shopping haul. I stopped at Top Supermarket today and Walmart and just picked up a few things, some stock up things that were on sale and then just a couple things from my pantry that I needed while I was out and about. And um, I like to keep a full pantry during these times uh, for various reasons. And um, I'll show you what we got. So I went to Top Supermarket they had uh, Wheat Thins and Wheat Thin, I think they're all Nabisco, 5 for 10 which is a really good price. It's like $2 a box. Um, so this is, I'll show you what we got. We always try to eat whole grains. Uh, we don't eat anything white if we can help it. So I'll show you what we got. Uh, so I got like five boxes of the Wheat Thins and I got the Fiber Select. Uh, which is five grams of fiber per serving. And then I got a couple of those. My husband really liked those. I got a multi-grain. I'm not sure how he'll like those, but I thought I'd try one and then a sweet onion. I stacked up on these the other day. He likes the hint of salt. Um, he's just a snacky person. Well, one of his favorite things ever <laughs> are these, and this is what I would consider a junk food, but it's better than eating potato chips, and he does not eat potato chips anymore, are these rich toasted chips. He loves the cheddar, 40% less fat. And this has six grams of fat per serving, 140 calories, no cholesterol, 12% sodium. Um, yeah, it's, it's junk food, but he enjoys these. So he has to have some indulgences. So I got like a bunch of those. I think I got a sour cream and onion, which he really likes. And I got a, I think I got a multi-grain, oh, a toasted Garden Valley vegetable. So that's what I got from Tops. Those were buy one, get one free, $3.99 each. I already got a couple of the cheddar just to put in the pantry. So I'll show you what I got at Walmart. Lots of stock up things just because I'm in that mode right now um, in terms of keeping my pantry full. So I got these Blue Diamond Almonds. We get the Lightly Salted. These are addictive. They're so good. I put these in um, our Greek yogurt or just for a snack. Tree nuts are so good for you. These are like $12.99 a bag, but it ends up being like $6.92 a pound, which is cheaper than even at Aldi's. So you can't beat it if you are if you love to eat um, almonds. So I got two of those. Uh, this is the best price I can find on string cheese at Walmart. It's the Frigo Cheese Heads Light String Cheese. I get this because it's 50 calories, 7 grams of protein, 2.5 grams of fat, which is pretty good. Lots of calcium. I think this was like six something a bag. I got two of them. I will eat like several of these, not several, a few of these for lunch with like... Um, you know, just kind of something on the side, maybe some nuts or something or some sunflowers or sunflower seeds. So I got two of those. Uh, this is something else, um, that I have been getting again, you know, I, I borderline junk food, but I really enjoy it. It's the Greek cream cheese and Greek yogurt. And, um, it has whipped, I get the whipped kind. It's two forty eight each. It has like a, a whipped cream cheese consistency. I don't know why they say Greek yogurt, but 45 calories for two tablespoons full, 2.5 grams of fat, 3 grams of protein. So I got two of those. I put those on everything. Rice cakes with a little salsa. It's very good. I'm a big air pop popcorn eater. I got three of these. They're $1.88. Great value yellow popping corn. I put it in my air popper. Um, just really, really good. So I got three of those at $1.88 each. Um, and then I got this Greek nonfat yogurt. This only has, okay, so 120 calories, four servings, nine grams of sugar. So I usually get Chobani Greek yogurt, but it is so expensive. And I can't get the 100 calorie in these big tubs, which is what I want. Um, because if you get the four packs, they're $4, which I, Greek yogurt is so expensive. So I got this. I got two of the plain. I think this was like three ninety eight each, which again is expensive, but not as expensive as the name brand ones. And I investigated on how to sweeten naturally your Greek yogurt because I don't like additives. We try to stay away from additives when and where we can. Impossible to do it diet wide, but you know I try. Um, so uh, I'm going to try to put some all natural peanut butter in there, and um, or maybe some honey. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try that because I like to take this and I like to dip my air popped popcorn in it. It's just like so good. Uh, and I also got two big cases of water. So anyway, this is my shopping haul. I hope you enjoyed.